Good morning, real estate investing people. So I suddenly just wanted to share this um, quick video because I know that a lot of people has been struggling in in terms of uh, making sure that their SMS delivered um, correctly or at least um, delivered to the recipients when they're using the CRM. So my favorite system is REA Apply, and this has helped us in terms of generating leads through SMS marketing. But if you do have the system and you just know how i mean you don't you don't know like how to uh, manage your campaigns it's it, it's going to be a lot of um i mean it's going to be troublesome because definitely it, it's easy to launch a campaign but um launching a successful one is definitely um a different story right so to like help you just um get a little bit of understanding how you um, would analyze if your campaign is working or if you're successfully doing it right um, you can navigate through the automations inside aria apply and then from here just go to campaigns um, and then what i like about the system it, it actually provides you with your kpis meaning how many you know how many from the the message you sent um, responded and how many were delivered so as you can see in this dashboard you can see the response rate in this um, section right here um so you'd see that um earlier on i just sent about um let's say 495 messages 101 replied from that campaign so um in the industry standard having like above 10 percent response rate is very decent so um to understand whether how many messages were delivered because again when you launch your campaign you just don't launch it but you also understand whether it did work right so how do you know it worked you go inside your campaign and then from here this is my favorite um knowing how many messages delivered and how many failed helps you see if you needed to change uh to change a strategy right so if you click on show detail it's going to give you more in-depth understanding what messages failed or at least which recipients failed and why it failed so if you click on this failed messages you get to see the error codes um in relation to why this you know why these messages did not send and um, it also gives you a way to like export this file in order for you to remove them from a campaign which is on a separate um, YouTube video so just please go to like the YouTube channel and then look into how you can remove leads from a campaign or you know um, yeah definitely how you can remove them from a campaign if you click on the summary you can also see like okay how many failed what error code um, normally it's gonna tell you what error code like the summary here um, there's also like the delivered messages like how many delivered which numbers and when it was delivered and if you have a link inside your campaign definitely this is this is where the data would come in so basically this helps you understand um, now what is going to be your next step but the question is how do I understand the error code because that seemed to be a lot of error codes uh, and definitely this is you know alien right I mean uh, the terms are alien to you if this is your first time like looking into your campaign and that is the reason why I prepared like um, a little troubleshooting guide um, like troubleshooting SMS campaign that provides you with the common error codes what that means and also like what to do so I made it really simple that if you receive so for example the most common is um, three zero 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 seven or three thousand seven this only means that your campaign includes filtered messages so you just have to look into the tcpa guidelines and also like just pause your um, pause your campaign if it's still running or basically just pull all of that failed um numbers and then like add re-add them into a campaign but make sure that this time you will um, change your sms template so in this guide i also provided a couple of couple or actually a lot of sms templates you can try to use in your campaign and at the same time provided with a guideline on what are the best practices when you're launching your sms campaign this also includes what are the keywords you're supposed to um, not use when launching your sms uh, or when you're creating your sms templates so the idea is to like sound like a real person we always update this from time to time so it's 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 good to have this handy so like you know that if there's any additional words that you can avoid then you could you know you you can have it so yeah like i said i i, I made it really simple in terms of what to do um, i'm also adding like additional links in here that's going to give you um the link okay how do i do that inside rea reply so yeah i think that's it so if you do have any question i hope this helps you understand that you know 
it's not just about launching your campaign, but it's really launching a successful one because you're wasting money if you are also like sending messages to numbers that actually is not working. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that like sending to a landline is not, you know, it's not the best thing to do. So like to save money when you're launching this, I mean, to be efficient and to save money, um, understanding the error codes um, is a must. All right. I hope this helps, uh, helps a lot. And if, if this is your first time on this channel, please do me a favor and do subscribe. And you can also see the link of the troubleshooting SMS ca campaign in the in the description box below. If you have any comments, suggestions, do just leave them in the um, comment below. Thank you guys and have a great one.